Hi everyone! Today on Cooking with Candyware, we'll be learning how to make tubs from Nikonatsumi, so stay tuned! So here are all the tools and I'll leave them in the description box below. So this is what the game looks like, and there's Marshmallow. But today we'll be looking for tubs. There he is. So now we're going to be starting with his body shape. So he's a pretty voluptuous cat, so we're going to be giving him a pretty good belly size and once you get an, an, a bean shape, it's time to put on his head and then give him some cheeks. And I'm giving him a little bit more of, of a belly. And then from here you're just going to keep molding it until you're happy with the shape and the outcome of it. So I put on his ears and now I'm just smoothing out some pieces. Putting on his arms. Figuring out where I want them to sit on his belly and on his side. And now I'm adding on his legs and then his tail right in between the two legs. And because he's white, um, it's definitely a good idea to use some rubbing alcohol. I am just adding even more to his belly because he's a pretty big cat so I wasn't really that satisfied with the shape that I was getting. And just taking off any little excess bits of dust and things like that. So now I'm using a Q-tip and the rubbing alcohol and taking off a lot of the little bits. So then from there I'm rolling out a really 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 thin snake and I'm going to be making his eyes and his nose and his little mouth right now. So I like to start with the nose first so that it can give you a really good gauge as to where to put the rest of uh, the pieces of his face and then just two little um, half circles for his mouth and then I rolled out an even thinner snake for his eyes and just be really patient because um, it can be a little bit tricky once you get them to a super small size there. So then from there just smoothing everything out again using a little bit more rubbing alcohol and then adding on the head pin and the last step is adding on his little bits of food So again, just straightening everything out and adding um, a big piece and two small pieces. So two on his belly and then one on his cheek. And then there we have it. So then it's time to bake. So follow the instructions for your clay. And like always, I am doing a loop that I always enjoy with my two head pin or with my head pin and my two pliers there. And then once you're done with the little loop, I'm just adding a little bit of gloss to his eyes and the little bit of food that's on him. So I ended up taking a little loop and adding a headphone jack accessory on the end and then just to have it dangle I put it on a, a piece of chain and that's all there is to it. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye!